Good morning, guys. Welcome to another vlog. If you guys are new here, my name's Kinsey. I live in Dallas, Texas. I'm 24. I almost said 23. I just turned 24. We have some cute birthday vlogs up and stuff. But anyways, today is a day that I'm prepping for my trip. I leave for the Bahamas at like 3 a.m. I ordered so much clothing for this trip and I overnighted it like literally 10 days ago just to be safe and it still hasn't arrived. So, um, obviously there's bigger problems in the world, so like that's fine. I just don't know what I'm wearing and I need to pack and stuff today. Anyways, I'm taking you guys through a vlog where I'm prepping for a trip. My house is already clean. I always like to come home to like a clean house. I worked out this morning, so I just showered and I'm in like cozy clothes because I'm about to go get a wax. Fun. Um, and get my nails done. So, I also have some Starbucks here. You know the TikTok where it's like girls with their iced coffee? How many times do I reference TikToks and vlogs at this point, guys? It's a lot. Um, anyways, I have a wax appointment in 30 minutes, so I'm just gonna head over that way, get there early. I don't like being late. I would much prefer to be like five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes early. Comment below if you are someone who arrives abnormally early to places or if you arrive just on time or late. Like being late is literally my worst nightmare. I get to my workout class at 7 a.m. every single morning at 6.45 so I can set up my mat and just sit there for 10 minutes. Do do, off to the Bahamas, off to the Bahamas. I already have anxiety about waking up at 3 a.m. for my flight tomorrow. Does anyone get anxiety when you have like a really early flight? I, I feel it like days before, I don't know why. Woo, 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 Bahamas, Bahamas. Okay, something I will never get over is how I was so afraid of getting a Brazilian. Sorry if this is TMI, but like, whatever. I was so terrified of getting a Brazilian for years. Like, it was literally my biggest fear. I was 23, which is, you know, weeks ago, um, when I got my first one because I was so terrified of it. And I just cannot stress to you enough how they are not that bad. Like, I was in and out in literally 11 minutes. I love my girl. I go to Elizabeth at European Wax Center on Greenville in like Old Town. I really just cannot express to you enough how they are not that bad like they're really not scary and it's a controversial take because people say they're like the most painful thing in the entire world but i literally it's to me it's like fine i don't know okay so task number one is done now we're off to get my nails done for my nail inspo i want to do colorful tips kind of like this shape longer so i guess more like this but it'll be like bright colors do multi oh my gosh, guys, I am the luckiest girl in the world. I ordered some jewelry from Princess Polly and clothes from Misguided. I like paid for expedited shipping for both of them and I was worried they weren't gonna get here and they're both arriving today. I am so happy. Okay, I'm now getting really excited for the trip. Honestly, I haven't really, you know when you're like, you know you're going on a trip and it hasn't really hit you. Like now I'm like, oh, actually like be in the Bahamas where I live. That's really exciting. I don't know if that makes sense. Like I feel like things don't hit me sometimes. <laughs> Guys, I'm literally listening to note to self and wearing full disclosure. Yep, yep, yep. My nails are done. I love them. That is my rug shedding in the corner. I have been doing my brows. My normal girl wasn't there and they look totally like, okay, they're still red. I look like a different person. Maybe I'm just being dramatic, but I also like am not really picky about my brows. I just never want them to be smaller. I like them thick, I just said, I literally said, I don't want anything to change, I just want them cleaned up, like same shape, same everything. I'm not kidding, probably five times, and they're like, so much smaller. Well, I mean, it is what it is, they'll grow back. But, of course, the first time I had like a brow catastrophe, um, it's when I'm going on a trip. Okay guys, I'm home, I just self tan I'm gonna show you guys kind of a bit of my self tan routine. For the past few hours, I was just working on my laptop. I don't know if I'm alone in this, but sometimes, actually like more often than not, when I'm working from home and I'm just like sitting on my computer all day and then I look up and then I, I feel kind of claustrophobic in my house and then I get like really anxious and then I just feel really weird. So I broke it up by self tanning. Still waiting for my packages to come, so I haven't been able to like actually pack really. I did start getting together my toiletries and I did make a list for packing. Um, I'm not always this organized, honestly. But I want to I wanna start being this organized and this video is inspiring me to do it. So I have my makeup case. This is from Zara. It's a terry cloth with my initials on it. Um, I've already been attacked for how this is chuggy. I don't care. I have this, which is like skincare toiletries. Of course, my up and away cleansing balm, my favorite cleansing balm um, from Emily June. Glow screen, sunscreen, of course. I'm gonna bring some hair clips. My brush, I love this thing. I don't work with them, but it's my favorite toothbrush ever. You guys all need one. Um, Bruce, I would love to work with you because I genuinely use this toothbrush, obviously, every single day. Moving on to my self tanning routine. 
the one, I will say the two things that have made the biggest difference. One, I got these exfoliating gloves. I have an exfoliating towel and I think that that works, you know, that works great too. When you actually have gloves on, you have a lot more control and you can just really exfoliate, like to the point where like you don't see anything. Also, I will say using this and an exfoliator, I love, which ones do I love? I like Kakari's exfoliator. I like Lux Unfiltered. I'm not like crazy thinking exfoliators, but they, okay, so these exfoliating gloves um, exfoliate the crap out of your skin and just get everything off. It gives you a smooth base and it also gets rid of the previous tan. I also have this brush, which I use this to go over my hands. Um, at the end of it, I wash my hands completely and then I will just take a little bit of self tanner and kind of go over my hands like this and then it gives me a really natural tan on my hands because I, I don't know, I feel like this is the hardest part to tan on your body and a brush like this, I will link one below that's similar, has changed my life. The next thing, if you are able to get the Ashley Graham Self Tanner, I have that with me here. I have it um, and I'm almost out and I don't wanna be out so I don't wanna touch it. Best self tanner I've ever used. I will link it below, but it's always out of stock. I hope they make it a permanent thing because it is the best self tanner ever. It's really hydrating. It doesn't make your skin super like dry and scaly and gross. Like, it actually glows and looks healthier with it, and it's the most beautiful tan. Another self tanner that I love is the Saint Tropez Saint Tropez Self Tan Express. I really prefer Express um, tanners because I'm just impatient. Always admit, I like this tanner. I love um, Lux Unfiltered the Gradual Tanner, but if I'm going on like a trip or something, I'll use this. Really good. Um, I love Loving Tan, Body Sands. I mean, there's a lot, but I, this is what I use today. If you want your tan to last longer, use a lotion. But specifically, I would recommend the Lux Unfiltered Conditioning Body Cream. I use it in fragrance free. Um, I don't really care though. Lux Unfiltered originally was like a self tanning brand, right? So I really trust that her body creams because it elongates the tan and like they know what they're talking about with keeping your body moisturized for a self tan. Um, so I love this. It's also just like really good. Um, lotion. That is what I do for my self tanning routine. All right guys, it is only like 3.30. All I want to do is nap now, I can't lie, but my packages came in and I'm really glad that they came in now. I'm like so grateful because I was worried that I had to stay up late and like <laughs> you guys know me. Okay, also I got this huge package from Bare Minerals and I'm going to try a different lip gloss. I'm going to do Imagination. I'm trying this out. Cute. Oh, it's moisturizing. I'll see how it looks. But yeah. Okay, so like, see, this is pretty much my dream of getting ready for a trip and like having this whole thing out and then like, I'm not gonna hang the clothes because that's too much work, but it's pretty much my dream happening right now. All I want right now is a burger. Like that just sounds so good. I haven't had a good burger in a while. I guess I'm doing a haul for you guys. I'm also only going for like five days and I really went overboard in my opinion. I will link everything that is available below as well, by the way. Okay, so I got these. Terry cloth shorts as a cover up. I believe there's like a matching set with it. So I just thought this was so cute and these are really in. I've seen them like pretty much everywhere recently. I thought this would be really cute just for the beach and just throwing on it over my swimsuit. Okay, I got these shorts with the intentions of them being like, the, okay, I, they look too big kind of. I don't know, they're supposed to be big. I wanted like the super mom jean. I don't know, I'm gonna try them on. These are gonna potentially, we'll see. You know, I don't know how I feel about these. Oh my God, this top is so cute. Wow. I mean, guys, it is just so cute. Um, I'll, Also, I will be posting like so many photos from the trip and stuff. So follow me on Instagram because you guys will see them all styled on there. I don't remember this set at all. Oh, okay, this is just another little beach cover up. It's white and sheer. Oh, important to note, this is not sponsored by the way. I would love it to be though, but it's not. So I have these sheer white pants. And then I have this sheer top. Another swimsuit. These are just some bottoms. Oh, I got a one piece. I guess we'll try it. You know, I don't really feel like trying on any of these clothes before I go, so. It's a gamble, you know? Here's the matching bottoms for that blue suit, too. Cute, cute. You know what I really miss right now? Mommy Burger in LA. Those burgers are bomb. Oh, this is just like a little skirt for over your swimsuit, really easy. Next thing. Oh, can you tell I'm happy that my clothes came? This I didn't get for this trip, but I might actually wear it on the plane now that I think about it. I feel like that could be cozy with just sweats and a tank top. Like I'm into that look and I don't really need a hoodie, so. Oh, this dress, I remember it being so pretty. It looks like there's a lot of fabric. It's just like one of those cute dresses and it ties. 
Love this color. I forgot what this is. This is just like a little bandeau top. This, I am obsessed with this swimsuit top. Like, are you kidding? The bottoms are like, I just like, I'm not super into like the bathing suit trend where like your butt is completely out. Like for myself, like, I just feel like awkward in it. Um, but like that's pretty much the only ones available. So I have backups that I really like as well. I forgot that one terry cloth set actually came with a top. So that's cute. It doesn't come with like bottoms, but it's like a cute look, you know? If I want, I can just pair it with like black bottoms. Oh, this is another matching set. Leave. I don't know how, oh, maybe not. But yeah, so this is um, a cute little outfit. I love these. I don't know how I would necessarily wear it though, because it's like so sheer and I would want to wear it like out out. So I'll have to find like cute stuff, but Anyways, I thought that was really cute too. It's gonna be tricky with a self tan though. Oh yeah, I got this one piece. Hopefully I like these. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so one of these swimsuits. Okay, so with these just normal black bottoms, it has this like halter top, like tankini almost. It's so cute. Okay, so that is it for Misguided. Still obviously have other things that I'm gonna wear. Like I'll show you guys. This was actually sent to me this week by Beginning Boutique. And there's this dress that I think is so cute. Like, I love this little, like, matching set thing. I just think it's so cute. Um, by the way, it's not sponsored, but if you guys want 20% off, my code is Kenzie20. Oh, no. I got a lot of stuff. Bear with me. It's going to take a sec. This necklace to die for. Like, that is so cute. That, oh, my God. I love these. Love these so much. I feel like we're going to change a lot. These earrings i thought were so cute and just like simple and really perfect honestly i wanted to do a lot of like colorful fun jewelry so i thought that this like little choker necklace would just be fun to add with stuff and like so fun i got some like anklets because i just felt like that would be really cute for the beach and like i don't know i don't really ever wear them but i thought why not I went on quite the little like accessory haul Shopping spree, these are, I mean, they're just so cute. I'm obsessed. Oh, did I get two anklet sets? I feel like this anklet, no, these are different. They're just so similar. It's like pink necklace that I think is so fun. So I love all of this stuff. I just think it is the cutest. Last but not least, this is not for the trip, but it was sent to me and I'm just opening it, opening it right now. This is from Pink. <gasps> Cute, back to Kenzie. So this looks pretty cute. Thank you so much, Pink. Oh my God, well, first off, it looks so soft. <gasps> a nice little cream matching set. I'll probably wear this as like an airplane fit, honestly. Oh, wow. The perfect like beige, I think I said cream. It's definitely beige. Matching set, high-waist campus joggers. I mean, this is cute. What am I doing wrong here? This is really soft. I'm definitely gonna bring this. And it's also lightweight, which is like good for summer. It's not super thick. It's definitely like very light. A cute little pink sports bra, underwear, some lotion, honey lotion, honey and shea butter, nourishing body lotion. Cute, cute little slide. So thank you so much, Pink. Um, my like younger self is screaming right now. Myself as well. Thanks, Pink. Um, I'm crying. Also, it's just like, my younger self. I think all the time. My younger self only knew. This stuff is so crazy. All right, so we have some outfits planned out right now. So it's a little bit tricky, guys. For swimsuits right now, I have one, two, three, four, five. But I have ones in here. I throw these out here, just like two or three workout sets because I asked TK if we were working out and she said she packed stuff. I have this set that's like super small, but I feel like maybe the only time I'll even wear it is like in the Bahamas. Okay, so I have one like really nice suit from Monday Swimwear. Honestly, I would rather have way too many swimsuits than not enough. Okay, I don't know where my triangle one is, which is a bummer because I love that suit and it was expensive. I'm going through like my tops that I know I love that are like flattering just to bring them out or like more summery as like a potential kind of thing. So I'm gonna like put these over here. Okay guys, I love these shorts. I know they're definitely not gonna be everyone's like cup of tea, but 
I went up a size, so I got a size 8, and normally I'm between like a size 4 and a size 6. Again, I wanted these kind of like mom short things, and they're cute over a suit too, if you just like play around with them. Um, also, this top is really messed up, but this top is cute, it's fine, and it's like good to have. But I love these shorts, they're so comfortable, I'm really impressed, and I went up a size, honestly almost two sizes, but... I really, really love them. I just think that I will get so much wear out of them. Like, I wish that I had them all summer. I would be, like, wearing these out with a cute top and, like, heels right now. Like, I will be getting so much use out of these. So, I will have them linked below. I love them. I mean, they're, like, the perfect short. I know a lot of you guys will think they're ugly, but I think they're really cool. All right. I have a lot of stuff. Here's some jewelry, and I haven't even packed, like, my normal stuff. Swimsuits. Um, these are just tops. I'm... Just bringing a few tops that I think are cute. I have like six dresses, so that's really enough to last me. I have one outfit that's like more clubby if I wanted to wear that. I'm bringing these shoes because I haven't worn them yet and they're so cool. I also have this, which is like a matching set. So actually, this is kind of here. I'm gonna live in dresses in like swimsuits, obviously. So here are cover-ups. Here's like a cute little thing that Pink just sent me in case I need sweats. I'm gonna wear that on the plane in case I like want a sweater, or whatever, just like comfortability. And here are just some tops, some like tanks and more fun tops in case. And then I have two pairs of shorts and a pair of jeans. Yeah, I feel like this is good pretty much for clothing. So I'm gonna try to fit everything in. Like this is gonna be quite a mess, don't get me wrong. Also, I'll probably wear these on the plane. So that's like one less pair of shoes for the plane ride. These shoes, I've talked about them before. But they are Steve Madden. I want them in every single color. I'm the biggest fan of Steve Madden shoes. I have been like my entire life, but they are so comfortable. I can do an entire night out in these and I'm the biggest wimp when it comes to like shoes in general. Um, I literally wear boots and sneakers every time I go out, but I wear these out because they're so comfortable. <laughs> tomorrow I have most things packed up I have all of my clothes um, swimsuits all that stuff I have like one load of laundry I kind of need to put away and then I'll put the rest in besides like my toiletry bags and my carry-on which would be really easy but I'm actually really pleased with how much has fit in here all right so here's my suitcase you know closing this is gonna be interesting but I have all of this I'm going through my list that I made like look at how organized this is I'm not organized to the point where I tried on all the outfits and I took photos so I like would know, you know, one day I'll get there. I like shouldn't need anything else from this suitcase. But I have my makeup backpack, skincare, razor. Oh, I put it in here and that's like a little zipper bag. So hopefully that's good. Um, a hair tool, which this will be for my carry on. I have a disposable. I have my passport out. I just need to grab my ice roller and then put the rest in there. But I'm feeling good about this. I'm gonna try to close my suit. have my hat this is Devin Carlson's collab um, with lack of color I am obsessed but my suitcase is packed that's good I have my clothes out for tomorrow okay so since I'm having this random anxiety I'm actually gonna take some of these and I'm also gonna pack them they're just GABA calming support little pills I'm gonna take two of them in a morning reading book I always like to have a journal because I have a little sunglasses case unfortunately the new sunglasses I just got that I love I can't find, I know. I have my little toiletries bag, uh, mainly because it's like stuff that I might use tomorrow or whatever in the morning. iPad hasn't done downloading things yet, but I have this case, so I'll end up putting that in here. I always take this with me when I travel and I just throw it in the little mini fridge. And it helps so much with your face because my face will get really puffy on a plane. My passport, my ID, basically two most important things that I own. And this will all just kind of go in here and then we're gonna go. Laptop is in there, iPad is almost in there. iPad charger, can, no Kindle, ice roller, passport. So in the morning, all I have to grab is my Kindle iPad, Kindle charger, vlog camera charger, and then I'm good to go. Last but not least, I will tell you which books I downloaded for the trip. I read these three books this week, so those are not for the trip. I have Where the Grass is Green and the Girls Are Pretty. I randomly picked this up. I had no idea what it was about and I just started it. It's pretty good. I'll I'm gonna read that tonight. 
I am going to fully download the Golden Girl book. I have some business books completely downloaded. By the way, I really like that one. I thought it was really cute. Took a second to get into, but I thought it was cute. I'm reading Stop Walking at Eggshells. I have a lot of nonfiction that I'm just kind of going throughout. But the trip for sure, I have this one. I'm gonna download Golden Girl. and I just put so much spot treatment on, like way too much, way more than I needed. I showered off my tan. It is only like 7 p.m., but honestly, I might just take melatonin and go to bed as soon as possible because I have to wake up at 2.30. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me prepping for my trip from the wax to the nails to the packing to the outfits to the package drama. You know. Um, anyways, I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the Bahamas. Okay, bye. It was a one-bedroom apartment downtown mm -hmm. LA. Yeah. And we had parties there. All the time. All the time. All the time. I remember the balcony. I remember yeah. <laughs> um, your puppy. Is it Coco? Yeah, Coco. Coco. Yeah, I, yeah. Those were some good nights, though. Those were really fun. We had a lot of fun. Oh, my God. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay.